On today's episode, we're going to take a quick look at two of my favorite companies. The first one's going to be AMD. The second one's going to be NVIDIA. For those not familiar, I'm a huge fan of the semiconductor industry. NVIDIA is my number one stock in my portfolio. AMD from pure, pure gains is number two. So these two are, are really much driving my, my portfolio right now. And both of them have had some crazy, crazy days. As I am recording today's episode, AMD is up about 5.3%. NVIDIA is no slack, all right? As I am recording, it's up almost 2% for the day. So on today's episode, I just wanna do a quick recap of what's going on with the stock. I also wanna share my overall thoughts on the company and what I'm planning to do in the short term with both these stocks. So let's get started. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So Bryce, let's just jump in with AMD. So AMD, I did do an earnings report on them. I, I thought their earnings were super, super amazing. And a lot of analysts did too. I believe this is one of the main reasons the stock price is up. Their strong earnings. But after that, there has been numerous price target jumps on AMD. 135, 130, 105, 150 price target. Remember, the stock is still sitting only at about $118 at the moment. The other thing I want to say that's really driving AMD right now is just the overall semiconductor market, right? We can see here the SOXX, which is the semiconductor ETF in the past five days has just been trending up in the past month is also up year uh, month and in the past six months, right? So overall, the overall market and just the strengthness in AMD. But that's not all right. AMD did come out with some recent news on August 3rd of 2021. That was yesterday. The new AMD Radeon Pro W6000X series, their graphic, uh, one of their graphics card series, is going to be powering the Mac Pro. So right now, if you go to Apple.com and search for, Mac, uh, for the Mac Pro, you can get it in multiple configuration using AMD's graphics cards. So a lot of investors were super, super excited. The next thing is AMD is continuing to uh, uh, launch new products for the gaming market as well. For example, the, RD, uh, the RX 6600, I do, I do believe this is their newest product right now. It's just out and it's also their cheapest product. Uh, so right now, I mean, semiconductor shortage is definitely affecting the overall graphics department, but AMD is still coming out with new products at the moment. The, uh, and next, we want to take a quick look at AMD, right? They did have strong earnings, but the company they are planning on acquire, Silenix, also had strong earnings. So for them having strong earnings, it obviously pushes AMD up. So it's just been a strong, strong news for AMD. And unfortunately, I do believe sometimes this overhypeness, and I'm going to talk about it in a bit later on, but this overhypeness or overexcitement can can kind of create a bit of risk uh, on the company. Next, let's jump into the second stock and we're gonna do it pretty cool. So Nvidia, right? Nvidia, recent news has taught, uh, there's recent reports that Nvidia's acquisition of ARM is being considered to be blocked. Uh, AMD investors could also see this as a bullish sign as with the ARM acquisition, Nvidia will enter a little bit more in the market that AMD is in. So if this ARM acquisition is blocked, I can see why certain AMD investors are bullish. And this is where I'm having a rough time, right? Like I said, Nvidia is my number one position. AMD is number two. I wish both of them do well. So I, I don't really have a, a voice in this matter right now, but let's jump into the second stock, right? Nvidia. But before we take a quick look at Nvidia, guys, let's take a quick listen to today's sponsor. A great reason why I'm able to provide so much content to you guys for free. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services The Fool offers. Through The Motley Fool Stock Advisor services, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock Advisors average stock picks have done amazing returns. If growing your money is something you'd like to do more of this year, you can visit fool.com slash Jose Naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the stock advisor is right for you. Thanks again to The Motley Fool and now on to today's video. So NVIDIA right now, right, as I am recording this episode, is up about 1.95% and it's over $200 right now. This is insane. This is a company very similar. It's just been a monster in the past few months. And let's take a quick look what's happening first nvidia numerous numerous of price targets have also come out for nvidia we can see this one 250 dollars i do believe we have one here of 215 
and they still have yet to report earnings nvidia earnings are expected for august 16th i believe let me just make sure real quick august 18th uh, so you guys definitely make sure to subscribe i will be doing a video on nvidia like i said the semiconductor industry is my favorite favorite market so we can see overall price targets are definitely driving the stock price up one thing though i, I did kind of mention before that nvidia is kind of uh, there's talks that their arm acquisition is maybe going to be blocked off by the United Kingdom. A lot of people were kind of expecting the uh, the Chinese regulators to actually block this off. But now it's the UK regulators. And for the stock price to not move that much, it tells me one thing. It tells me that most investors already believe that this acquisition is going to have a hard, hard, hard time. Um, especially right you would expect after seeing a report like that that uk is block is planning on blocking it that you would see the stock price drop down the only reason i would think that the price stock hasn't dropped down is a lot of investors a lot of analysts has also come out i personally believe it's going to be very very hard for this arm acquisition to happen as an investor of nvidia obviously the arm acquisition would be a great move it would mean so much for nvidia as a company but it's not needed i want to say this company can continue continue to grow with or without the acquisition so for me long term i don't care if the acquisition happens i'm still happily invested in nvidia so nvidia also released some amazing news and i think this is the one i'm super excited about on august 2nd of 2021 uh, nvidia kind of opened up their nvidia base command platform and, and this is pretty impressive especially because a uh, monthly subscription for this is ninety thousand dollars a month for big enterprises and they need a minimum of three month contract so that right off the bat that's about twenty six hundred dollars and it's probably going to be at a very very low margins uh, I, I want to say nvidia is going to have very very high margins in this product so nvidia is kind of doing clouding as a service i want to say right so or, or artificial intelligence as a service I, I don't know if that's actually a thing right now but that's exactly what they're doing so let's say you are a big enterprise and you're working on some form of product or some form of program that you need to have strong artificial intelligence computer working with that data unfortunately it, you, you're going to need some crazy crazy computers to power that and, and, and that costs a lot of lot of money so nvidia i mean nvidia is one of the leaders here they decided to kind of just rent out their platforms or rent out their computers they call these super pods and so now for these enterprises now they don't have to spend millions and millions and i'm saying millions of dollars to make these supercomputers. instead they can only spend a few hundred thousand dollars in investing and in kind of renting them out and this is definitely i want to say something that's going to be really impressive in the overall enterprise world um, before when i was working in some big companies i mean the amount of money some of these companies spend on just a monthly basis instead of spending millions and millions of dollars on actual products because they just need it for a few months it's insane so i can definitely see this growing and i can see this helping out nvidia in the long term and short term of things so this base command is actually going to be hosted by equinix and this is uh, i want to say a perfect example of how nvidia is being super smart with their acqu acquisitions equinix was one of the companies nvidia acquired i want to say about a, a year ago i almost forget how long it's been um but overall great moves and like i mentioned strong strong revenue the subscription is about ninety thousand dollars a month with a minimum of three months required now the final thing i want to take a quick look at is both these companies technicals so we're taking a quick look at uh, let's start off with amd i do want to say both these companies to my opinion have the same risk just because it is a risk doesn't mean it's a guarantee but the risk is both of them are a bit overextended from their moving averages so there is a possibility of a pull down happening again that doesn't tell me that it's a guarantee that just tells me hey the risk is a bit higher so for me at these levels is if i wanted to add right now it would be a very 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 small position um this isn't the time when i would go in heavy at the moment i do say both this is my number one and my number two position so i have no plans on buying i'm also a long-term investor so for me i have no intentions of selling all uh, right um there might be some people who might be looking at short-term trades uh, maybe with this overall extension right now it could be providing providing some form of time to sell but again that's not my style not the way i follow i'm a long-term investor so i'm here for the volatility obviously my portfolio is gonna hurt 
if they kind of pull down, I'm ready for it. For me, Nvidia and AMD are still long-term hold for the multiple, multiple years. And the returns that they can provide are gonna be, I believe, amazing. So take care guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and see you next time.